Welcome back. We've seen some surprisingly big moves in muni bond funds. Investors have been purchasing these funds for 11 straight weeks with total net inflows of about $15 billion. As financially troubled states face steep budget shortfalls, Congress is struggling to agree on any COVID relief for local governments. And whether they do or not would seem to have huge implications for the muni market. Here to talk about why investors aren't more deterred is Tom Koslick. He's head of municipal strategy and credit at Hilltop Securities. Tom, it's good to have you back. I mean, it is amazing how much demand there is no matter, the, like I was just saying yesterday, there's not a lot of headlines in the new stimulus bill about relief for state and local governments. So people are piling into munis anyway. Well, I think that the the uh, the Heels Act and the comparison to the Heroes Act is an, is important to um, look at. But as you were mentioning, there has been a significant amount of flows into muni funds over the last couple of weeks, and we just just we saw a uh, just last week. We finally went net positive for the year. There was a significant amount of flows out of muni funds back in March. But as you mentioned, that um, ramp up over the last couple of weeks has really helped. Why is it? Is it just that the yield is too attractive for people to ignore in this like terrible uh, rate environment? Um, do they just think, hey, there's no way they're actually going to really stop paying their bills because the federal government will come in and do something? I think, that part, I think that part of it is the value of the tax exemption. I think that part of it is also the fact that uh, there is, there, you know, there are a lot of municipal entities uh, across all sectors, state, local governments, airports that uh, had very good um, fiscal positions going into this. Yeah, which helps, of course, gives you a little bit more to draw upon. So let's talk about some of those places you mentioned airports. But another one hot button issue, let's talk about toll roads, what kind of mm -hmm. status they're in, whether we should expect more and more toll roads as uh, places look to raise revenue. Yeah, I think that when you're looking at the revenue sectors like airports or toll roads, toll roads specifically, I think that you really need to get into the, in, you know, the, the situation that the individual credit is um, dealing with. There are some toll roads that, as you would imagine, I mean, there are people driving less like you were talking about in your previous segment. But there are, one of the things that's also happening is there's also a rise in commercial activity in some areas. And I think that um, while that commercial activity might not be exactly where it was, you know, a year ago uh, this month, that commercial activity has helped sustain those, those types of toll roads also. And I know that you think there are some places where people can look uh, for munis that have been a little less impacted by COVID. I'm surprised that water and electric utility uh, are among them. I would have thought that people might have been struggling to make those ends meet. Well, yeah, the fact of the matter is, is that, I mean, it is important to talk about the uh, potential aid for state and local governments. But I think that uh, where those sectors are concerned, the sectors that we have stable outlooks on, outlooks on still, our water and sewer, the electric utilities, and also uh, the state and local housing, state and local housing finance agencies. Uh, those are sectors that, are, that have been, and we expect to be less affected by uh, what's happening with COVID. Um, but that being said, that Heals Act only included about uh, 100 billion for school districts and did not include anything for states. And I think that that's going to be important going forward for the sector. All right. So you'd like to see that increase for people to really breathe easy? Absolutely. I think that for something, some kind of meaningful. Uh, aid, I think, is going to be around the 500 billion mark, uh, which uh, we'll have to see how things. Uh, there's a you know a deadline of you know next Friday, so we're going to have to see how that shakes out over the next two weeks. Yeah, we will be watching with close interest, as all these investors will be as well. Tom, thanks very much. We appreciate it. Thanks very much. Tom Koslick with Hilltop Securities. Still ahead, it's an ongoing battle among economists and lawmakers. Are enhanced unemployment benefits keeping people from going back to work? We've got the results of a new study that's going to try to provide some answers. Tomorrow, don't miss Boeing CEO Dennis Calhoun in an exclusive interview at 9 a.m. Eastern time right here on CNBC. The exchange is back in two. Muni Money is sponsored by BAM. Ask your investment advisor about BAM insured Muni bonds. When the market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable rating. BAM. Build America Mutual.